uh, without ever checking to see if, if the progress was made in the storyline to get to that point. And mm -hmm. you just skip ahead a whole chapter, you're right into Grants. <laughs> yeah, you gotta phase your hand through KML's computer, and then... And, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mario Kart Money, but that, that trick is frame perfect, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's a really difficult trick to pull off. I'm surprised he managed to do it at Summit. So. Yeah, live, live. So so give it up for Nick District, everyone. Going, going for the frame perfect, the risky strats here on a live marathon. Going right into Grants now. This is going to be Nick District 14 and Red Oolong. They both play Wii Fit Trainer. Red Oolong is in the winner's bracket. Nick District is in the loser's bracket. And... Uh, yeah, let's get yeah. into it. And I think right off the bat, you gotta give you gotta give the theoretical advantage here to Red Oolong just because it's KML tournament on KML stage. You got the KML outfit on. You got KML in the title. How do you, how do you work against that kind of uh, disadvantage of deficit if you're Nick Yeah, I was gonna say it's because he has you know two sets to work with instead of. You know, he just has to win one set instead this of two. Is true. But, you know, I, I I think your I think that reasoning, I think the, the KML channeling is uh is probably a better reason. Yeah, it's uh it, it's gonna be an uphill battle for Nick District here for sure, but we'll have to see how it's working out. So far, Nick District is commanding this uh, exchange of projectiles, this neutral with the uh salute the suns, the volleyball's going back and forth. I know, it's um it's very, very interesting to see. I mean, it. I think it, it'll come down to who's able to use and abuse deep breathing more. That's, uh, that's you know, generally we fits game plan anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. All, it, how about that buff management? Mm -hmm. yeah, in the mirror, I feel like that's probably even more important. Because it's like, I okay, do they up. have it up? Do I have it up? That little like, cheekiness there from District 2, just ducking the, uh, the sweet sun. Yeah. That's right, Wii Fit is very good at ducking under projectiles. Yeah. Like, and very that's, good. That's what you get out of a champion loser's bracket speedrunner. You know, someone who knows who knows the minimal frame commitment dodges, you know? Just doing that with the least amount of frames drops, that's how you make the world record. <laughs> exactly. Forward throw too. Red Oolong though striking right back. What was looking uh, not so great for Red Oolong towards the start of the set is now right on back to even. Nick District looking for the early spike there too on stock two. Trying to pull out the big stuff. Yeah, he's really trying to go for it. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you think about it, right? It, given, you know, if, the, uh, if both players are, are relatively of the same skill level, we're on the same character. Uh, theoretically, the one that gets away with the most cheese wins. Right? Like it, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. And there's, you know, that is absolutely the uh, the philosophy of Ditto's. If anyone tells you it's about being better at the character, don't listen. It's absolutely not what it's about. It's about who can cheese who. Yeah, I'd imagine, like, I, I've been seeing so many just soccer balls colliding midair, and I imagine I'm going to keep seeing that. Yeah. Hey, what better way to block a soccer ball than with a soccer ball? <laughs> I know. I, I haven't seen much soccer lately, but I'm pretty sure they do that all the time. Yeah, there's two balls in play at yeah, soccer yeah. any given time. Yeah, they hit like that multi-ball thing that's in pinball. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then there's two balls, so and they're not so much scoring on each other. They're just uh. Mm. Ooh. Fully charged. So the sun come back to ledge too. Now Nick District starting to uh, pull a little bit of a lead here. Struggling against the entire KML brand here on this uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 game one. I know you really got to put KML Stadium too. You got to put the brand in its place. You know what I mean? <laughs> Silence brand. <laughs> Silence Corporation. <laughs> Down special the legend not killing though. Really? Wow, he went for it. You he have went... to. I, yeah, I mean, really, yeah, you're in a, a deficit, a somewhat big deficit, not huge, but. Yeah, but this, this is beyond the point where you can give up opportunities. You gotta be just looking for them anywhere you can find them. Especially when these games could very well go to timer if Nick District decides to play non-committal enough and Oolong doesn't recognize that deficit and try to equalize it. Exactly. You want the offstage deep breathing?
Oh, deep in, just fading out too as Oolong was starting to catch a little momentum. Forward tilt, yeah, he's dead. Mm. So Nick District actually, yeah, taking game one with uh, up a stock. Yeah, a very powerful showing here in game one. Uh, definitely, definitely trying to swing back after the winners' finals set so this could be this could be anyone set here nick district is going to have to take the uh, the two set sweep to make it happen but if uh if you can say this strong through this that could absolutely be the case you also got to wonder too i mean nick district generally sticks to the Wii Fit, but Oolong's got a pocket, like, everything. Everything, yeah. Oolong could pull out one of any five characters he's feeling on, on this particular night. So, I don't know. I don't... I feel like my stance is we'll probably see just Wii Fit dittos for the entirety of the first set, and if we do get to the second set, that's where we might see a uh, character switch. I, I do have a concept for you. Mm -hmm. it's, an outside, it is an outside track. I doubt it's going to happen, but what if it did? Just hear me out. Oolong Mega Man. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen Oolong's Mega Man in... Jeez, over a year at this point. I, I have yet to get a chance to see it, period. Uh, but no one else plays the character, so I really want to see it, because this is Owen Kakaon about playing Mega Man that actually has one. So I I'm going to continue talking about it until the day I die. <laughs> Hey, I would play Mega Man if it was X, but it's not, so... Fair. That is, that is, a, that's, that is a fair opinion. I'll allow it. Oh, okay. We, we traded Salute the Suns into each other, so they clanked. We traded Volleyballs for the trade and the hit. We're just symmetrical violence is the, the, today's theme. I mean, this is, this is like what you get in a ditto, right? This is, they do the same move at the same time. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it really is. It is so symmetrical up until the minute that it's not with that back air out just a bit sooner from Red Oolong to take that stock. Oh, the volleyball spike! It's not going to kill, though, but, you know, the extra flash. You got to put him on notice. Hey, I can do that. If you're at a higher percent, you can't be out here. <laughs> and that, that's your warning shot. You get one. Next time, you die for this. Oh, a little yeah. over aggressive there from Oolong. I know that was uh <laughs> took a long time to kill. District though uh, willing to take the the fully charged sweep sun there to knock the volleyball back, but you do get that extra bit of healing. That is true, yeah. At, at the expense of losing a tool you could be using off stage. Oh look at this district just closing the gap as quickly as possible, maybe a little too fast. Oolong ready with a defensive option and just navigating all these volleyballs. I know there's too many. There's too many soccer balls on the screen. I've, sometimes I feel like I'm seeing more than two. Wow, nice Dude. conversion there. Yeah, and at exactly the right time, too. You wanted to try to get that out of the way as quickly as possible and have some uh, space to play with this stock to rack up some extra credit. That was an excellent volleyball bounce there from Nick District to even it right back up, setting it up perfectly. In the Fantastic. Back Fifty-four percent. Fifty-four percent, everybody, for two nairs into an up air. Deep breathing is actually busted. Oh, this is insane. Imagine if it was on a better character. Right? Like a character with like a more traditional moveset? Oh, it would be ridiculous. Oh, can he make it back? Ooh. Oh, still had the jump. Spike. Oh my goodness. Whoa, it was a volleyball and ate the jump too, I think. Yeah, it did. Oh no! Goodness it, gracious. Had it not been for that, if that jump was still online, Oolong has options to get back, but with no with the jump getting eaten like that, there's just nowhere else you can go. You gotta go right to ledge. And that is uh that is something that if you're dealing with those characters, right, that have uh, what we call non menu recoveries also known as characters with good recoveries um you know it's hard to it can be hard to shut them down off stage sometimes you know because they have options 
The trick is run them all with options. Every recovery is linear when they have to go maximum distance to the ledge. No exceptions. Except Pikachu. Pikachu cheats. <laughs> Pikachu does cheat ever. Yeah. Mr. Game and Watch. Also, K Bean says 54 from Nair can't relate. You play a heavy. I don't want to hear. The rest of us honest, hardworking individuals. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> honest, hardworking individual. Yeah, I'm an honest, hardworking individual with 14 projectiles. <laughs> I said it. I wonder. Oolong. I wonder how bad Oolong wants to bucket uh, the uh, salute the sun here. Oh, absolutely. That's a win I'm, con right there. I mean, especially with the deep breathing one. Oh man, that'd be crazy. Yeah, but I think Oolong is equally as okay with just uh, just farming up airs till till the cows come home. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That just like you were talking about. That is a full bucket. I, I'm on the edge of my seat. Like, I'm actually having trouble speaking because I'm just ready for this bucket to happen. And Oolong is waiting so long. Like, please, I can't. Oh, I threw it. Me. Oh, yeah. No connect. That's okay. He's got Nick District in a pretty bad spot here, all things considered. Yeah. Boy, just being able to throw out a very low frame committal bucket to deal with the volleyball is actually paying dividends right now. In I know. Huge way. Yeah, he's tired of fighting fire with fire. He's fighting fire with oil. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Something about how, you know, if a fire gets big enough, it burns all its fuel and then, you know, extinguishes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not a scientist. Except, you know, like, oil's flammable. But, y y y whatever. Can we talk about Oolong's setup there? Like, the single bacon to bait the get-up option into dashing down smash. Didn't catch the roll, but what a, what a setup. I know, but that's... The stock was chair instead. You know, Oolong is blessed with, like, a lot of character knowledge and set play. Like, it's just... This is some of the best I know, personally, at it. Yeah. Just uh, shows so much recognition on what to do it, with certain characters, it, regardless. It seems like of the matchup, just always has the answers. Always has some deep, you know, ideas. Went really deep for that edge guard there, but I mean, you know, Game and Watch can do it. Yeah, may cost him here though. Never mind. Has the ledge once again. I just want to know what kind of bucket absorbs an energy projectile but it reflects a soccer ball. Like, have you ever caught a soccer ball in a bucket? I'm pretty sure that doesn't work that way. I can't say I've ever personally caught a soccer ball in a bucket, but yeah, I, I agree with you. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, like I don't, I haven't either, but I feel like I've seen someone do it, and and the ball definitely just went into the bucket. Yeah, jabs him off stage here. He's throwing the food. The double bacon into the bucket right there, just to, mm -hmm. you know. Just to test. Ooh, okay, Oolong getting fancy with the volleyball set up there, just applying a little extra range pressure when Oolong wasn't expecting it. And that is really starting to uh, interrupt Oolong's momentum here, right at the moment that it matters the most, too. Wow, dash attack catching the two frame as well, and Nick District now is stocked up once again. I mean, we may be looking at the, uh, the, 3-0 to pull the bracket reset. Oh my goodness. All these bombs off stage too. I know a lot of this fight is happening off stage and that's really frightening. Yeah, I mean both these characters can kind of do that. They're yeah, I mean they have really loading. good recovery, really good stalling. Like it's yeah, but like, boy, the the risks out there are uh, certainly tangible. Chair doing it. Okay, last stock, but Lung is at the percent deficit, and Game and Watch is a light, light character. Yeah, and the match is never quite going the way you want when Chair at mid stage is your stock taker. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gonna need to see uh, some a little more lethality here from if Long wants to take this game and prevent that bracket reset. And we are seeing it right there. My goodness, that was like three nares into an up B. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, up here, taking it. Oh, not yet. I'm still no. alive. Still alive. Oh, we're living. At least for the moment. What killed? I don't know. Okay, it oh. was the trade going in Nick District's favor there. We are seeing a 3-0 bracket reset. And uh, that's that's spooky. I mean, you, you're you Red Oolong right now. You took this set in winner's finals, you know, and that, that probably gives you good reason to believe. You've got, you know, the, the ability to take it back, take the, take the whole thing. And then Nick District comes out of loser's finals and it's swinging and it's a it's a three zero for that first set. Now you're now you're fighting on even footing. <laughs> Kyle, this is a threat. All right, so we are at the bracket reset. The grands, how are you feeling about this? Um, I'm feeling like, oh, we're going back to Wii Fit. That's what I'm feeling like. It's Wii Fit, Wii Fit. All right, back into the KML gear as well. That's the, the this is where Oolong was at his most powerful last set, was the uh, the KML gear on the KML, at KML's house in KML's turf. I know. Yeah, so yeah, this is something, like, obviously Oolong has to, has to start winning these neutral interactions more. Um, I think that's what's really killing them. Also, just, you know, the offstage game. Yeah, yeah. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, we saw Oolong take off at the start of uh, game one of the previous set, uh, primarily by winning those ranged exchanges. Uh, yes. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, you know, threatening stocks, and it wasn't uh, the fastest damage in the world, but it was winning. And maybe that's uh, more of what we need to see here. Or maybe Nick District has just caught on to it and is just uh, winning the range game now. I mean, at least at this point, you're seeing some trades happen, and that is not where Ulan wants to be. Wow. Yeah. Early stock here, 58% still. Nick District looking healthy in this game one. Mm -hmm. Just like we Fit Trainer. That's, the whole, that's their whole goal is they want you to be healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's baked into every aspect of the character fantasy. Even your charge shot healing you, like, mm -hmm. it's all there. Ulong is really trying to find these off stage hits. Once that spike, either from the forward air or the down air, but just can't find it. Wait, the... Did the side B, did the header just set up like a jab block situation on the platform there, or am I losing it? I may be. I mean, I don't think you get the second jab block or anything concrete off of it. What was that? I think this trick is just content to play as far away as possible. Oolong has all the maneuvering to try to... But finally able to get into the parry into the forward tilt, setting up the stock at the very least, deep breathing online for both players right off the bat here. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Wow, they're both just swinging. Yeah, I mean, you need to be at this point, at least if you're Oolong, like, you gotta be getting in and trying to hit. There's no way. God, that duck, too, that we fit low-profile duck is, uh... So effective. Back air, ooh. The attempted coverage there of the, uh, the jump over cross up from Red Oolong just did not reach quite high enough. We got some up tilts on the ledge instead to add a little extra damage here. And then calling out the stall and landing the spike perfectly. Suddenly it's an even game. One good play from Oolong. All it takes is footing. Yeah, exactly. The Oolong needs more stocks like that. Oh, if Oolong takes more stocks like that, this whole this whole set changes. So that has been uh, stocks on both sides have been hard fought. This set. yeah, definitely. I mean, you can just see it right here. They're just running to the other side of the stage. One one player closes the distance. The other one just runs to the other side of the stage. Deep breathes, starts chucking fire uh, soccer balls. Yeah, and if we start seeing stocks just disappear with uh, hard callouts like that, this whole dynamic changes. I know. 
you gotta force someone on the defensive in a, in a matchup like this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You gotta you gotta have somebody sweat, and somebody, or else you just you end up with this. You end up with this uh, very safe play. Oolong though consistently closing the gap here. Ooh, he's down with, this here. with the uh, with the disadvantage here, I mean, he's mm -hmm. down by quite a bit of percentage, but Oolong is still moving in. He's not trying to play that weight and play that long range nickel and dime. Oolong just wants to close this out. Oh my God. Oh no, Nick Absolutely. District with two very good hits there. Yeah, now now this, is, this may as well be last hit. Okay. Oh, he didn't hit him out of deep breathing. I thought he did. Yeah, this is Back air, not quite. Ooh, good timing. Waiting out the volleyball. Okay. Deep breathing online for both players. Percents pretty much even at this point. Oh my goodness. Back air? Okay. Woo! Ooh, that was... was just. I had me at the edge of my seat. I felt my stomach up in my throat. That was. They were on top of each other. I know they were ready. They wanted it so bad. I. They both had deep breathing up, like 120 plus percent. One hit was gonna kill no matter what. And it only makes it even more suspenseful knowing that We Fit's got those just like ridiculous. Uh, aerial coverage like they like and by ridiculous I don't mean great ridiculous I mean like, why does forward air hit there ridiculous it, it just you, you don't know what you're looking for there's hitboxes on every side of the character that could do something but we're running it right back here for game two okay Yeah, I think both of them are just content with Stadium, and I, they obviously don't really want to see a change that much. Yeah, this time though, Nick District is playing a little more aggressive and getting in, trying to box and break the zone of Oolong instead of playing that range game, and he's working out to his favor uh, pretty early on. Yeah, I mean, shoot, he was up almost 100% for Oolong and even touched him. Yeah, but now he needs to try to get that deep breathing back online. Long recognizing no way to shut it down, just need to uh, get mine off at the same time, get, make sure we're both buffed and try to finish the stock out. I mean, again, at 78 to 100, 108 seems like, you know, a sizable gap, but when deep breathing's online, it evades one out of... What on earth? That kills on the top? Yeah. What? Yeah. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I don't think I'll ever get answers for them, but what on earth? Uh, yeah, this is going kind of rough for Oolong this game, but again, he's come back from worse, even in, you know, grands, so. Yeah, oh, Oolong's trying to go way out there, too, really needs to finish stock off just couldn't quite find it out there can find it right back at home on the ledge there with that back air before the uh percentages started to get a little too out of hand but still needs to be able to consistently fight their way out of these situations unless oh, the berry for mick district but no follow-up yeah okay so Wow, wow. Okay, that was a good sequence from uh, Oolong there. Yeah, Oolong is definitely playing more and more lethal as the set goes on, looking for some of the bigger hits and conversions, because it, it, otherwise these sets have been so consistent in the back and forth and the trading. And if they're consistent, but you're consistently falling behind, then you got to be the one to change the pace up. And that seems to be uh, what Oolong is aiming here for. But you still have to do that with respect. You can't just go run in and leaf it uh, at any time, especially when you are also leaf it. Yeah, really. I'm, I'm just, just uh, barely out. I know. Ooh, forward tilt. I feel like that's just such a that's such a solid move. 
covers a lot of the area, like above and in front of and behind We Fit. And Lung answering with his own. This is an even game once again. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's a solid move. <laughs> Two stocks back to back it took, I think, maybe actually three, if I remember. remember. Uh, Oolong took his stock with back air. So. You're, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, still, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> two out of three ain't bad. I've seen those offstage spike attempts, just trying to, like, end this now. Get me out, take me to game three in here. And he's slowly uh, working in uh, Nick District's detriment here, but with this control to neutral, there might just be an opportunity for them to break that wide open. And these volleyball is just constantly connecting. Oolong just one or two, you know, frames ahead every behind, every action. Now is the one having to shield. Oh, just, just dropping the deep, re the uh, Super Sun inward from the aggressive maneuvering. Oh no, oh Wow, man, shield wow, that blow. shield! Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is high octane We Fit dittos. Who would have thought? Yeah, I know, like, they're actually in there and brawling. I, we've seen some uh, play this. this. It's not happening now. We are hitting buttons. Someone's going to die. I don't know who. It might dash be attack, ooh. Off the dash attack. We All right, take so a, a big drink after that one. Got to stay hydrated with the KML2 Summit branded water bottle, by the way. Man, I love KML Summit 2 water. I wish he would have mailed me a water bottle as per my request. Right? He didn't honor that. But... Something for me to display on stream while I'm staying hydrated. Mm hmm. All right, so we're getting back into it. Back on stadium again. Uh, this is looking pretty good for if you're right Oolong, I think you're you're fine with that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, also you're also fine with being two games up. I mean the again the three zero in the first bracket or the first uh, part of grand finals was a scary thing to have happen. I mean that is terrifying. But now you're up two zero on the bracket reset. You're probably feeling a little more comfortable, a little bit less stressed out, and burden going into this game three. I know. So, but he's off stage right now and it's not looking super hot. Uh, yeah, wow, oh, Spike? Spike. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Less than a minute into the match here too. Plenty of time to uh, start to draw out this but not if Oolong just snaps it right back. Spike for a spike, soul for a soul, stock for a stock. We're even right back up. I know. This is uh, this is crazy. Oh, well, I think Oolong just wants it. He wants it here. He wants it now. He's like, no game four, son. Give it to me now. <laughs> I want this, uh, what was it, $236? Something like that. I want this money. I got places to be tomorrow. I want to get this money, get into bed. <laughs> wow, and just racking up just so much pressure, damage, hit after hit here. Nick District is trying to find a way out. Ooh, hit him really far. Wow, that just, ooh, ooh. man. Despite Oolong trying to buy time for as long as possible of it deep breathing, trying to saw with the volleyball, Nick District's just playing the punish game spectacularly, finding that one vulnerable moment in a down tilt before the ledge could catch to take that stock. I mean, just playing around with the kit and the ditto so effectively there. I know. Volleyball games too have been just incredible. Wow, I didn't realize how much percent Nick District had racked on Oolong. Yeah, with a stock lead too and nearly lapping, Nick District is fighting for his bracket life here. It's I know. Not want to be done just yet. Who gets the forward throw? Soccer ball? Oh no. 
Oh, wow. There was what a hit off there? stage. I saw something. I don't... Yeah, forward tilt. That had to have been the hula hoops colliding. There's mm -hmm. nothing else that could have... Without that have been being lethal. But Nick District's making it back to the stage to find that lethal hit with the forward tilt at the end of the day. We still got grands to go. We still got we still got set to play here. Nick District is uh, not out of this just yet. Swinging his way back into uh, contention for this first place spot. Game four. Are we going back to PS2? That is the question. Nope, we're going to Lilac Cruise. Hold on a moment. Hold on. Is I don't want to accuse anyone dishonestly, but Zoom I'm trying. Is that the purpose of this pick? Ooh, Nick District made to pay for that deep breathing with the down tilt, but uh, I think you're okay with taking a couple percentage to get that buff online. Unless you can't pin Oolong down afterwards, <laughs> it's just presented for free. Hold on. Yeah. This keep away game is something else. A lot of deep breathing here. You got to. This, this is this is mentally stressful. You gotta you gotta take deep breaths. Yeah, like, you, stay, you gotta take deep calm. Deep breaths. Stay calm. You start hyperventilating now. It's over. So I guess, does that mean every other Smash character is hyperventilating, except we fit training? I mean, when I'm in Grands, I certainly am. I don't know about you. Wow, nice back air punish. That doesn't kill even with, okay, it did. I, I wasn't looking. Yeah, the, the, the delayed action of the star KO, you know, just, just gives you an extra moment I, for that little bit of hope. I really thought he was just falling back down, like from the, from the top of the screen. Imagine living that. It would have been insane. Oolong, though, it really needs to maneuver out of this corner to hold on to that stock. The deep breathing is gone, at least, so there's a little bit less kill threat on the board there, but Nick District immediately reestablishing it. That is the yeah. uh, the curse of being at a high percent in this matchup when your opponent isn't, or just in general, is that any stray hit, and they just put deep breathing right back on. I know, yeah, you always get to put so far away. Ooh, no. not quite. Yeah, I was about to say, I... I didn't think, but that is going to do it. Down tilt at the ledge. The classic. Down. Yep. Catching that ledge grab animation there. And we are already in a pretty even game. I mean, not a whole lot of extra credit racked up by Oolong during that, but quite a bit in the first four seconds of the stock. Hold on. We're finding out one good opening. And District pay for it. I know. I do love how there seems to be almost a gentleman's agreement of sorts. Ah! I see one of us has landed a hit, and we are now 40 feet apart. We will both reestablish deep breathing instead of yeah. moving forward. A nice soccer ball snipe there from Oolong. Yeah, this is this is looking sketchier and sketchier. You know, and the funny thing is we haven't seen particular uh, particularly specialized towards taking advantage of the stage layout from Oolong. Just having that little bit of extra change to the game plan maybe the the way the volleyballs fall or where the platforms block aerials has been enough to uh give oolong that extra edge here in the game four without uh, having to see anything too crazy come yeah i know oh oolong wants it two different spike attempts in a row may just pay for it with their with his stock but makes it out yeah, it's again, these these recoveries have been crazy. I mean, I know it's Wii Fit, but still, I'm like, I keep thinking, there's no way he's coming back. And then, oh, he's back. Forward oh. tilt. That's going to seal it. Red it's Oolong yeah. taking KML Summit 2 over Nick District after a long and arduous grand finals. Wow, yeah, and having to go through, that is uh, that is three full oh. sets of the video to make it happen, too. Staying strong, mentally persevering through the show in the uh, first part of Grand and the bracket reset, and then coming out on top in the long run. Truly, uh, truly just yo, yo, yo. On display here. I mean, from both players. You finished KML Summit. Is your voice being broadcast too? Yes. 